Hello viewers, what's up? Today I will start working with our document panel and you see here this is our document table and by clicking a row the document is opened. Actually this is the absolute path of our document and when we are trying to click a row then I set the code for opening the file and you see by clicking a row like 433 the document is opened and the corresponding document id student id and document name and the absolute path is set to this text field and you can attach new documents by clicking this button and you can give the document id student id document name and in this series for document tab pen i will work with this buttons text fields and the table so don't worry i will show you one by one so for today i am going to design this panel so open your netbeams and then go to your project you see this is our document tab pen you see at first we need a panel so i am going to select a panel from palette select a panel and put it here and i'm going to make it larger like this i think it's better right click the panel go to properties and then change the background color i am selecting this one ok close and then we need a table so i am going to select a table from here but you see selecting table from the palette will not be wise because when we are trying to select this table i have shown you there is a problem so i am going to copy this table right click it copy it and then paste it and you see this is our table I am going to make it larger oh. actually this is our panel at first I am going to make the panel larger and then the table here is our panel and this is the table let's put the table here and i'm going to make the table smaller like this one and then yes i think this is perfect and i need a text field and a button so I am going to palette and select the uh, text field right click it go to edit text and set the text to null and then I am selecting a button here is a button and then I am going to copy the text field right click it copy and paste it this is our new text field I am going to paste it here actually I think 
this will look better if I make the text field larger and this text field here and then yes and I'm going to copy this one copy and then paste it and I'm going to put it here again paste it and drag and drop it one two three four text field and i need four buttons so i'm going to copy it and then paste it this is our new button again paste it this is the new one paste it And now I am selecting some labels for doc ID, student ID, document name. Go to palette and select a label. Label for document ID, right click it, go to edit text and write doc ID. That means document ID right click it go to properties and then go to font and i am selecting 14 bold ok close and then copy it and paste it this is our new document id level and right click it go to edit text and write student id then again paste it and right click it go to edit text and write document name so go to source and run the file And this is our documents tab panel and you see this is the panel for document I think the font is slightly larger so I am going to make it 12 and then I need to style the buttons and then the position of the table and buttons so go to design and right click it go to properties and then font i'm going to make it 12 okay close and i'm going to put it here and then right click go to properties and then font i'm going to make it 12 okay close and then put it here Again right click it go to properties and font I am going to make it 12 ok close and then put it here and you see this is the table I am going to make it slightly smaller and then I am going to mark them one by one the labels, text fields, buttons and table and then I am going to put it here and then I am going to set, change the table and I am going to put it here then this is the buttons right click it go to edit text this one for attach 
right click it go to edit text this one for add this one for delete and this one stands for clear right click it go to properties and select icon input to project and i'm going to import icon from this folder attach okay close then for adding go to properties select an icon add icon okay close then for delete and for clear go to properties choose an icon like close okay oh sorry clear right click go to properties icon and then i am selecting clear open okay close again go to source and run the file and go to documents tab pen and you see this is the tab pen of i need to change the size of my text field and i am going to make it like this yes it's better looking again go to source and run the file and go to documents tab pen and you see this is the tab pen as i promised and one more thing you see the email panel layout is absolute and i'm going to change the layout for this panel and i'm going to make it absolute so right click it go to set layout and i'm going to make it absolute layout so again go to source and run the file this is a document step pen and the panel is reposition ok what can we do i am going to make it larger like this and then like this yes this time it is better looking again go to source and run the file click documents tab pen and you see this is the tab pen and the design of our document table is ready and from the next video i will start working with these tables and text fields and buttons until then keep watching thank you very much